Hey everyone, Scott Nichols here with Sickbo Creative Studios. Today we're gonna take a look at Graffiti, our spray paint, texture, PNGs, and animations pack. It's the easiest way to use authentic spray paint effects for photo and video. Vandalize your visuals with over 350 PNG overlays and animated spray paint assets to create simple or sophisticated custom graffiti looks without the time suck. Pack is compatible with all major photo and video editing software from Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro X, DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, Vegas, and more. I'm going to walk you through how easy it is to use these spray paint effects in Premiere Pro and Photoshop. Let's drop in. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm and comment below what you would like to see next. Let's get started. When you download and unzip the pack, it's gonna come in two mirrored folders. You're gonna get 2K animations and 8K PNG graphic overlays. Each folder is broken up into nine categories. You're gonna get arrows, paint drips, some Greek letters, numbers zero through nine, Roman numerals, shapes, spray paints, symbols, and typeface, which is A through Z letters. Let's jump into Premiere Pro and show you how easy it is to use these. So again, I have my folders here, the 2K animations and the 8K PNG graphic overlays. And then I have my video clip of my artist friend, Gary from the Draculas here. And I'm gonna use the 2K animations. Click in here and I will grab our paint drips. Let's go in and what is paint drip six? This is cool, just drag and drop it into your timeline and then you can change your scale and position to whatever you would like. So I will just move it over here into the frame. And as you will see, each one of these animations is 10 seconds in duration. So what I'll do is I will just speed this up a little bit. Apple R, if you're on a Mac, is the shortcut to speed it up. And I just sped it up 200%. And that looks pretty sweet, just as simple as that, just dragging and dropping it on top. And then let's go ahead and grab another one. Let's try, what is paint drip 13? Sweet, I like that. One of my favorite things about this pack is just how you can easily stack and layer these to get simpler, sophisticated graffiti looks. So just for the sake of this example, let's go ahead and scale that one down a little bit further. And then let's move the first one over just a bit more. And then you can change the color to whatever you would like by just typing in change color, go to change color and drag it onto the paint effect that you would like to change. And then in your effects tab, you can go over here and change your lightness transform to 25. Saturation is 100. Matching tolerance, 100. And matching softness, 100. And then you can change right here on hue transform. You can change it to whatever color you would like just by scrolling through the different values. I like the green for this example. That looks pretty cool. So I'll leave it at 125. And then as you can see, and then it really just adds that really cool dimension as it overlaps on the bottom layer of paint. That looks pretty cool just within a few clicks. And then let's go into our typeface and letters and create the word spray, S-P-R-A-Y for spray paint. So we will drag and drop those in. And once you have them dragged into your timeline, you can again, Apple R for speed and speed them up 200% and then simply just change your scale and position. So I will scale all of these down, let's say 50% and move it over a bit more. Same thing for every other letter. And let's make the text red. What I can easily do is just copy and paste the change color effect that is on the paint drip and copy and paste it into each of the other ones, but first I will change it to red, and then I will do that for each of the other letters. And before I render, I will just slightly stagger these so it looks like it is just a little bit more natural. And then trim up the clips. All right, and let's see how that looks.
Yeah, pretty sweet and easy. So within a few minutes, you can get these animated spray paint effects right onto your videos just by seamlessly stacking them where you would like to and changing the color. Awesome. And I will quickly show you in Photoshop, the same exact thing applies, right? I have my image of our artist and I will simply grab our 8K PNGs and grab a few drips. Let's do a couple different drips this time. Drip five, scale it down. And then you can simply change the blending mode to give it a little bit more of an organic look and a more natural look. Can make it look like the top of the screen has been spray painted and it's bleeding all into the image. So really, it's just that simple. You drag and drop, you change the size and the location of where you would like it. If you want, you can also play with the blending modes to achieve different looks. And it's really just up to you to create whatever look you would like. So have fun with this guys. We recommend checking out the magazine cutout letters, PNG and animations pack. It's an excellent complimentary pack for your asset library. You'll get a handcrafted high res collection of over 500 retro magazine cutout letters with four categories. You're going to get letters, numbers, type symbols, and backgrounds. Easy to use for photo and video, these pre-keyed out collage letters are perfect for designing ransom notes no matter the medium. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next. And we'll catch you on the next one.